What's going on, you all? Today, we're going to show you an easy way on how to read your Quest 2 stream chat on Twitch. And so you can see it visible and just have it around you. So whenever you're rocking your games, you can always get back to your community ASAP. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right. So first things first, you're going to uh, obviously go to your Twitch channel and then you want to go into your profile. Then you want to go to creator dashboard. After you go to creator dashboard, you're going to go around right here to the bottom left of my chat. You're going to click it. You're going to see pop out chat. So this right here is going to be very crucial. And then we'll get into just everything you have to do after that. But this right here is going to help you kind of just navigate how I'm doing right now while you're doing your quest to stream. Now, once you have this navigation pop out already in a menu, what you're going to need to do next is that you're going to have to air link your quest to or, or link it if you want to use a wire. I use air link because I love wireless, but that's just kind of your flavor. Just either way, you got to get to PC VR so you can e eventually get to the Oculus home and then you can really start getting it going. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. As soon as you're linked in either through link or air link, you're going to look for desktop panel on your Oculus home. You're going to see it right over here as I'm looking around. It'll highlight it. Then you choose your Google Chrome, which is you can now control your whole desktop. Then you go back to that Twitter pop-up chat that I was talking about so now you can see what I'm doing along with what's in VR you can see both of them right here see the twitch chat I put some funny uh, emojis and my my bit modes and you can see just everything that I have uh, for my sub badges too and now we're gonna look around you're gonna keep you're gonna see me just being able to type and navigate make sure everything's good it's not too laggy you see me pushing it around this is everything that is navigating now you can see me uh really correlating with the menu you can make it different sizes you can stretch them around you can make it float anywhere you want whether you're looking up or left or right this is crucial because for those that are actually streaming pc vr uh, you can now see everything what's going on like really at hindsight at the peripheral of your vision uh, through each side of the corner so you can see me navigating around over here and we're going to be doing like some visuals some examples you can see me pushing it around and we're also going to do it through a smaller uh, steam vr version so this is if you're on oculus home but for those that are using quest 2 for steam games then uh you can also do that too with this so now you see me pushing it around you can pinch it you can enlarge it you can make it skinnier you can see me here now it's on top of my main menu where i'm looking at you can see beat saber on the main oculus home game menu now let's try to attempt to type a little bit let's just show you that example you can see me switching in you can see me hitting that type you can see me pressing on things now you see more badges come up more emotes come up and just being able to have that full full on now navigation now i'm zooming into my chat you can see all of that also which is really cool you can angle them really different just depending on what your flavor is and what game you're playing i think that is very amazing and a very underrated tool you can use so you can see it all around that's just kind of how my desktop view is that's why you see so many multiples now you can see me literally uh scrolling through my desktop now we hit into steam vr when you're in steam vr it does the same thing it just pops up at the left depending on where you want to put it originally uh, i like to just i tend to put it off like maybe a top corner and then maybe throughout the game you can do it all uh, in order to do this while you're in steam vr you just have to hit your basic home menu don't hold the home menu button where you recenter your quest 2 instead you just kind of navigate it around and then you can see me right here i kind of press pause and then i hit resume so it's kind of like your pause button and you're able to just move it all around you can see me in steam vr live in here and that's the same way it would go you just kind of navigate your menus disappear the menus you see me with my vr controllers now you see me looking up back at the chat which is perfect because you see me in the menu and just like that that's how you do it be sure to leave a comment like and subscribe peace